If you live in India, you would have definitely noticed dust everywhere. On roads, on cars, inside homes, even floating in the air. No matter how much you clean, it always comes back. You wipe the table, it's dusty again. You step outside, dust is everywhere. You wash your car and by the next morning, it's covered in dust again. But have you ever wondered where does all this dust come from? In today's video, we'll try to understand the reasons behind this phenomenon. 1. Natural Causes of Dust in India Geography and Desert Influence India has vast arid and semi-arid regions, particularly in Rajasthan, Thar Desert, Gujarat, and parts of Madhya Pradesh. These regions generate massive amounts of airborne dust. Winds carry fine desert particles across northern and central India, particularly in the summer months when the land is dry and loose. The Indo-Gangetic Plain, which covers Punjab, Haryana, Uttar Pradesh, Bihar and West Bengal, has fine alluvial soil that can easily become airborne due to strong winds, seasonal climate and dust storms. Pre-monsoon periods, March to June, bring intense heat waves and strong winds, lifting dry soil into the air. Monsoon rains, June to September, temporarily reduce dust levels by wetting the soil. However, once the monsoon withdraws, exposed dry land leads to increased dust storms again. Western disturbances and localized thunderstorms often stir up large dust clouds in North and Central India. Human activities increasing dust levels, deforestation and land misuse, uncontrolled deforestation for agriculture, urban expansion and infrastructure projects has reduced natural barriers that prevent soil erosion. Illegal sand mining along river banks exposes loose soil, which easily turns into airborne dust. Many regions, including Chhattisgarh, Jharkhand and Madhya Pradesh have seen significant land degradation due to mining and industrial activities, construction to boom and poor dust management. Rapid urbanization has led to continuous construction work with little enforcement of dust control measures. Unpaved roads, debris piles and cement dust contribute heavily to the problem in cities like Delhi, Mumbai, Bengaluru and Hyderabad. Lack of green cover in urban areas means there are no natural dust traps, worsening the issue. Road and Traffic Conditions Poorly maintained roads with dirt shoulders generate dust clouds as vehicles pass over them. Unregulated movement of heavy vehicles and poor road sweeping mechanism further aggravate urban dust pollution. In many Indian cities, even footpaths are covered in dust due to improper urban planning industrial and agricultural pollutions, brick kilns found in Uttar Pradesh, Bihar and West Bengal emit large amount of dust into the atmosphere. Coal-fired power plants and cement factories releases fine particulate matter, adding to the dust burden. Stubble burning in Punjab and Haryana not only creates smog but also disturbs soil, increasing dust in the region. Dust come from other countries. Middle East and North Africa, MANA region, the Sahara Desert and the Arabian Peninsula send large amount of dust across the Arabian Sea to India. The Shamal winds blowing from Iraq, Saudi Arabia and Iran carry fine desert sand to western and northern India. Pakistan and Afghanistan, the Karakum and Kizilkum deserts of Central Asia generate dust storms that travel into Rajasthan, Punjab and Gujarat. Winds from Baluchistan and southern Afghanistan bring in additional fine dust. Tibetan Plateau and China The Gobi Desert and arid regions of western China contribute to dust that can reach northern India. High altitude jet streams can transport fine dust from Tibet to the Indian subcontinent. Indian Ocean and Bay of Bengal Marine salt aerosols mix with dust particles, forming airborne particulates that settle over coastal India. Impact of foreign dust Increases PM10 and PM2.5 levels, making air pollution worse. Affects respiratory health, leading to increased cases of asthma, bronchitis and lung diseases. 
influences monsoon patterns by altering cloud microphysics and reducing rainfall efficiency. How dust affects India, air pollution and public health. Dust contributes significantly to air pollution, worsening conditions in cities like Delhi, Kanpur and Patna, increased respiratory diseases, especially among children and the elderly due to prolonged exposure to dust particles. Fine dust, PM2.5 and PM10 can enter the lungs and bloodstream, causing long-term health complications, reduced visibility and economic impact. Thick dust reduces visibility on roads, leading to higher accident rates, affects solar energy production, as dust accumulation on panels reduce efficiency, increased infrastructure maintenance cost, as dust damages machinery buildings and electrical components. How can India reduce dust levels, green cover and afforestation? Large-scale tree planting and urban green belts can act as natural dust filters. Restoring grasslands and wetlands will help bind loose soil. Better construction and road management. Enforcing dust control measures at construction sites such as water sprinkling and debris covering improving road maintenance to reduce loose dirt on highways and city roads, promoting paved footpaths and green buffers in urban planning, agricultural and industrial reforms, encouraging zero tillage farming to prevent soil disturbance, regulating brick kiln emissions and introducing cleaner manufacturing methods, strengthening laws against stubble burning and illegal mining, international collaboration on dust control, working with neighboring countries on joint dust mitigation strategies, using satellite monitoring to predict and manage transboundary dust movements. India's dust problem is not caused by just one factor. It is a complex mix of natural geography, climate patterns, human activities and foreign dust transport. While some sources of dust are unavoidable, better urban planning, afforestation, pollution control, and stricter regulations can significantly reduce the impact. Dust isn't just an environmental issue. It's a public health and economic concern that needs urgent attention. Addressing dust pollution requires a multi-pronged approach, which involves government policies, industrial responsibility, and citizen awareness. What do you think about dust pollution in India? Have you faced any problems because of it? Let us know what you think in the comments below. And if you found this video useful, don't forget to like, share and subscribe to our channel.